Hi guys, welcome back to another fishing tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at all the gear we use for our carp fishing. From rods and reels to looking inside our tackle box, we'll show you everything we use. Let's start by looking at our carp fishing rods. Firstly, we have a set of 10 foot carp rods. We love shorter rods for most of our fishing, especially when big casts aren't needed to reach the fish. These are Daiwa Crosscast 3 pound test curve rods. We use these when casting distances up to 70 yards. They are perfect for smaller waters and underarm casts in tight swims. They are also a great option for travelling abroad as they fit easily inside travel rod tubes. We also have a 3.5 test curve version which we use for our marker work and spawning out bait. We've also always had a set of 12 foot rods. These aren't used as much in our fishing but they definitely play an important role when fishing on larger waters. We will use 12 foot rods anywhere which requires a bigger cast. The extra two foot in length really helps to reach the fish on big lakes. The only other time we'd use these rods is when fishing on larger, fast flowing rivers, where it's important to keep your rod tips high to avoid pressure building up on your main line, which can potentially move your lead. We recently upgraded to a set of Daiwa 12 foot, three pound test curve long bows. In addition to our fishing rods, we also have a longbow spod and marker rod. So there's the two sets of rods we use. To put it simply, we use 10 foot rods for smaller waters and 12 foot rods for larger waters. When transporting our rods, we use these tip safes. They avoid any chance of your rod tip snapping and hold the rods together nicely in transport. They are also a lot lighter than your normal rod holders. So by using them, it is a great way to cut down on the weight of your kit. On our 10 foot rods, we use a lightweight reel to balance nicely with a shorter rod. These are Daiwa GS 4000s, and they are loaded up with 12 pound carp line, which is a strong, durable, monofilament main line. On our 12 foot rods, we use these Daiwa Tournament S 5000T big pits. On these, we use the same 12 pound carp line as on our other reels, and for both sets of reels, we also have a spare spool loaded with 20 pound sub braid, which is what we use when fishing towards snags. We use braid in these fishing situations because it has no stretch, so it's less likely that fish will reach any snags. Now let's take a look at bite indication. We've been using the Delkim TX ID alarms for the last nine months in conjunction with the cord of black and white bobbins. The neat thing with these are the isotopes that fix inside, which are really handy during the night. Also, you can detach the bobbin and chain during transport, as it's a magnetic attachment, which means there's no chance of damaging your bobbins. We use our alarms on 16 inch bank sticks, and they extend to double the length, so they are ideal for having either the rod tips high or low. Most of the time we don't use backrests. This way we bring less kit down to the swim. When fishing without a backrest, it's important to place the large eye of the rod in front of the bite alarm. This way there's no chance of the fish pulling the rod into the water. When it comes to carp care, a couple of important essentials is a landing net and a large unhooking mat. A 36 inch specimen carp net is ideal for carp of all sizes. And when choosing a mat, look for a large, well padded one that will ensure that a carp does not get damaged. Now let's take a look at what I keep inside my rucksack. Firstly, and probably most importantly, I've got a well organised tackle box, with pretty much all the terminal tackle I'll ever need. This includes baiting needles, hooks, bait stops, leg clips, braid, and I also have a small box which fits inside with all my swivels and smaller rig bits. 
Also, there's a little rig board in there for any pre-tied rigs that I've tied up before a fishing session. Larger items, such as PVA tubes and spoms, are placed in one of the medium-sized corder compacts, and my leads are kept in the smaller variety. When storing my bait for a session, if I'm using boilies, they are poured into an air dry bag like this. Any other bait is stored in a bucket or these smaller Guru bait boxes, which are ideal for PVA bag mixes. So there's a look at all the kit we use for our carp fishing. If you want to learn more about carp fishing, I definitely recommend clicking one of the videos here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.